Hi, welcome back to GP Reactions. I hope you're good. Um, thanks for joining me today and um, going to be reacting to a bit of Donna Summer. And this is uh, a song that's called Love is in Control, Finger on the Trigger. Um, I think it might be the other way around, actually. Finger on the Trigger, Love is in Control. Anyway, it's from about the 18th of July, uh, 1982, uh, in the UK Top 40 um, charts and I believe it kind of peaked at about number 18 uh, and it was from an album uh, a self-titled album Donna Summer so this is Donna Summer with Love is in Control I've never seen this video before so I'm kind of really looking forward to it um, I've heard Donna Summer before and I absolutely love her voice uh, but this is one of those tracks that maybe has passed me by um, for about like 30 years. I may have heard it around about the time it came out. So without further ado, uh, let's have a listen. Oh, this feels very 80s. I love her hair. I have heard this before. Um, as soon as it started, I kind of started to ring a bell, but I don't remember. But the groove is such a good groove. Um, it's really kind of funky. I love, I'm loving the sound of it. So it's very deep and, and heavy. Um, I bet this will sound excellent on a big pair of speakers. Um, how old school is that?
So that was uh, Donna Summer with uh, Love Is In Control, Finger On The Trigger. And uh, I so enjoyed that video. It was lovely. It was colourful. Um, the music was just so kind of funky. Um, it's been a long time since I've heard it. And um, it was probably better than I'd imagined it would have been. Um, I mean, Donna Summer herself has got such a fantastic voice. Very distinctive again. Uh, like a lot of the singers actually around about that time, they had such a distinctive style or voice. Um, if they were solo um, or if they were uh, a band, you knew instantly that they were who they were. Um, the sound got a bit generic, um, I think, for most a lot of artists towards the end of the 90, uh, 80s. Now, I love this video as well because it, it looks like she was having a lot of fun making it. Uh, and, 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 and I actually enjoy the fact that um, you can sort of you see these in between shots of the actual video and then her making it so it must have been a lot of fun now I do know I was just reading um, I was actually reading about Donna Summer the other day and I do know that when she was making this video um, she may have been pregnant at the time and she kind of wanted to cover up um she was wearing these big, she, she says she was wearing these big belts just to kind of like cover to take the emphasis away from her little, um, from her little lump. So, um, so the, I think the lyrics were quite interesting as well because I got the impression that, um, she's, she, she she's quite, she was, I, well, this, I got the impression in the lyrics that so she's, she's quite experienced with guys, uh, but now she wanted something more permanent and uh, she was looking to kind of take her life to the next stage with the right kind of guy. Um, and she'd been around a lot of big shots, um, hang around with, lot, with with big shots, never knew um, love was in the sight. I guess I missed a target, caught up in a different line of fire. Um, but, uh, but I know since I've been aiming for the sweetness in your soul. Your name is on the bullet and it's getting ready to explode. There's been a change inside my life and I just want to let you know. Um, so maybe this is a guy she's actually already met. Um, it's kind of like a play on um, on Cupid, I suppose. Cupid's got the arrow, she's got the bullet. And so I'm kind of getting the idea that perhaps she's met a guy and she's actually, maybe she's pregnant as well in this song. Um, she, mm, it's because she's not interested in the excitement of uh, an affair with somebody anymore. She's, she wants more in her life. Leave off a safety catch, there ain't no risk. Leave off a safety catch, there ain't no risk. Mm. Yeah, I'm guessing may, maybe again this is alluding to um, <clears throat> not unsafe sex but unprotected sex. So maybe she's moving towards wanting to be pregnant. Um, my word, I never knew that this, I never knew I'd be reading that into this song. To be honest, I thought it was just about um, somebody looking for love and, you know, having a guy in their sights and then kind of like going for it as a way of you know, moving on with their life, but um, I think there's maybe like a little bit more to this than BTI. Um, as I've said, I, I love Donna Summer's voice, it's so powerful, and whenever she sings, it feels like she's got a lot more to give. Um, she's taken you up a couple of gears, but if she really wanted to, she could take it all the way up, and um, such a powerful, distinctive voice as well. Um, I loved, loved the video, it was very colourful as well, which is nice. Uh, I, I think it really kind of fitted in with the whole idea of 1982. It's full of um, colour, brightness and, uh, and noise. Um, yeah, so that's that's kind of what I kind of feel about this song. It's it's quite a joyful, happy song, even though it's probably about a quite quite a serious subject. And, and cleverly, that's that's where a lot of the artists back in um, the 80s um, 
had the ability to kind of do that to actually sing about something very seriously but have the song and the performance work on a whole different of a level um so it kind of pleases everybody in, in some ways i'm surprised this wasn't a bigger hit to be fair um only hit number 18 peaks at number 18 um, but i'm guessing there was quite a lot of other good songs about at the time so yeah you know what let me know what you think about this let me know if you like donna summer and you'd like to hear more donna, donna summer um i haven't heard everything she's done there's a lot of music like this that i may have heard once or twice and have lost in the sands of time so um it'd be kind of wonderful to actually um, react to a few more donna summer songs um and i'm guessing she might she's probably got a really big fan base out there as well um so yeah i hope you enjoyed it um i really enjoyed this video and so till next time just take care of yourselves have a lovely weekend and i'll speak to you soon